guys, it's Sarah, and today I want to talk about my favorite new authors that I read in 2017. This list doesn't necessarily mean debut authors, it just means authors that were new to me in 2017. I actually read 25 authors, and there's five that I really, really loved, so let's just get into the list. Robin Rowe, Josh Mallerman, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, Krista Becky Ritchie, Camille Perry, Mozine Amid, J.P. Delaney, Amy Engel, Paula Hawkins, Julie Berry, Tamara Ireland Stone, Claudia Gray, Haruki Murakami, Becky Albertalli, Roshani Chakshi, Brittany Cavallero, John Harwood, Erica Johansson, Ruth Ware, Erin Morgenstern, Angie Thomas, Carolyn Kepnes, Seanan McGuire, Mindy McGinnis, Marie Rutkowski. So like I said, of those 25 authors, I really, really loved five of them, so I want to talk about them in this video. So the first author on this list is Josh Mallerman, who wrote Bird Box. I read this book, I think, in January of 2017, and I absolutely loved it. Basically, Bird Box is a post-apocalyptic novel in which the world has kind of gone to shit because there is this thing that no one can explain that's causing people to go crazy and kill themselves and kill other people around them and so it's just very very unsafe to go outside and so this woman named Mallory has two children and so in present day she has finally run out of supplies at the place that she's staying and she needs to go out into the world and take her children to safety but unfortunately because there is this unknown force that causes people to go insane when they look at it they have to wear blindfolds while they go to their next destination and so the story is also told in the past with all of the events leading up to the epidemic or I guess it would be a pandemic if it was the whole world I don't know hopefully that makes sense but it is a really really good novel there is such an added suspense of the characters not being able to go outside and look at things so every time they go out to get supplies and other things they can't look at anything and then it's kind of even crazy the things that are driving people insane. I know I just said crazy and insane in the same sentence. I don't know. I'm doing a bad job of explaining this book. I really loved Josh Mallerman's writing style and the suspense. He actually came out with another book this year as well as a novella and he has another book coming out next year and I really want to get to them and read all of them because he's just really good. The next author on my list is Amy Engel who wrote The Roanoke Girls. I read The Roanoke Girls I think in April and as many of you know it was one of my favorite books that I read this year. The book centers around a girl named Lane who when she is 16 her mother commits suicide suicide and she has to go live with her grandparents whom she's never met. While she's there she realizes that there's a lot of family secrets and all the women in her family have really dark pasts and a lot of them have gone missing or committed suicide like her mother. And then the story is also told 10 years later when she's about 26 and her cousin Allegra goes missing and so she goes home to the Roanoke estate to find out what happened. I thought this book was absolutely amazing. I was enthralled from start to finish. I know some people on Goodreads said they didn't like it because they thought it was really dark. I would definitely say trigger warning for sexual assault and other things like that. I thought it was so interesting and so good and I absolutely loved Amy Engel's writing. I know she's written a couple of YA dystopian books so I'm interested in reading those but I'm also interested in reading whatever she comes out with in the future because this was just so good. The next author on my list is Julie Berry who wrote The Emperor's Ostrich. This was a very surprising book for me to like. It is a middle grade about this girl named Begonia who's a dairy maid and her cow goes missing and so she sets off in this quest to go find her cow and she meets a bunch of friends along the way and there's magic and there's there's a king and there's an ostrich and by king I mean emperor because it's literally called the emperor's ostrich and it was just such a cute book and I absolutely loved it I again was very very surprised I don't normally like middle grade but I just really liked the writing style and I know Julie Berry has written other YA books and middle grade books that I really want to look into because I just like I said thought this was so fun and it made me slightly interested in reading more middle grade books which is kind of weird for me the fourth author on my list is Brittany Cavallero who wrote the Charlotte Holmes series there are two books out in this series and I've read both of them I think one is called A Study in Charlotte and the other one is The Last of August. I absolutely loved The Last of August. I gave it five stars. The first book I did enjoy. I gave it about four stars, but the second one just really took the cake for me. Took the cake, take the cake. I don't know how to say that. Basically, these books are like Sherlock Holmes retellings, except for the two main characters are descendants of the original Sherlock and Watson. I know it seems a little cheesy because it sort of sounds like Disney descendants or something, but I swear that the book series is really good. In the first book, Charlotte Holmes and Jamie Watson meet at a boarding school they are both framed for a murder so they have to work together to try and solve what happened and then in the second book Charlotte's uncle goes missing and they have to go find him and a lot of shit goes down in the second book it was so good I really really like the writing style there are parts of the books that are kind of cheesy but overall they're pretty good and they cover a lot of darker topics 
topics, which I didn't think was gonna happen. I honestly went into them thinking they were gonna be really cheesy and kind of Disney-ish, but they really, really weren't. They were just really good. I think I just said good like seven million times, so sorry about that. The third book in the series I think comes out in March, and so I really look forward to reading that as well as any other books that Brittany Cavallaro writes. The last author on this list is Carolyn Kepnes, who wrote You. You is a thriller told from the point of view of a stalker. This guy named Joe owns a bookstore, and in the beginning of the novel, a woman named Beck comes in and he starts to obsess over her and starts stalking her. The cool thing about You is that it's told in first person, but it's actually written to the girl that Joe is stalking, and so all of his thoughts are just really fucked up as he tells Beck all the things he wants to do to her. Some people read it and were just like disgusted by Joe, but personally, I kind of liked him sometimes and I found him funny, which was kind of fucked up on my part, but overall, it was just really, really good. I know she wrote a second book to this series. I don't, I wouldn't call it a series. I guess it's like a duology, but I really, really look forward to reading other books like Caroline Kepnes because I feel like the first one was just so creative and I feel like what she did was really interesting, so yeah. So that's it for my list of favorite new to me authors that I read in 2017. Let me know down below of any authors that you read for the first time this year that you absolutely loved. Maybe I can check some of them out in 2018. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. You're all beautiful. Have a nice day.